Thevenin's theorem. Question: Use Thevenin's theorem to find VO in the network given below. Here in this network, we have to find the value of VO by using Thevenin's theorem. Solution: In case of Thevenin's theorem, what we do? We convert the whole circuit into Thevenin's equivalent circuit. That is Thevenin voltage in series with Thevenin's resistance. So this will be our VTH, that is Thevenin's voltage, and this will be our RTH, that is Thevenin's resistor. And here this will be our load resistor RL. This will be RL. This will be current IL. And current IL is equal to here we can write IL is equal to VTH upon RTH plus RL. RTH plus RL. And this will be our Thevenin's Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Now, first of all, to get this circuit, here we will find the value of RTH first. So, step number one will be find RTH, that is Thevenin's resistance. Now to find RTH, step will be remove RL, remove RL and turn off, turn off all independent sources, independent sources. So here we will remove RL and this is our RL that is this. 4 kilo ohm is the value of RL. Let's say this is terminal A and this is terminal B. Now next thing we have to do, we have to turn off all the independent sources. So we will turn off this current source. Now when we turn off the current source, that time it will be a open circuit. And when we turn off the voltage source, that time it will be a short circuit. We have to replace the independent sources by its internal resistance. Now, if we stretch this A and B, suppose if we stretch this A and B, then we will get the value of RTH. So here, if we stretch this A, it will be like this. This will be our 2 kilo ohm and this is terminal A. Now next if we stretch B, so let's say this B will be here. We can stretch it like this. Now here we can see this 1 kilo ohm and this 1 kilo ohm are in series but they are short circuited. So here this will be 0. This is 2 kilo ohm but it is short circuited so that's why it will be zero so therefore the resistance between a and b terminal will be only this 2 kilo ohm so therefore rth is equal to 2 kilo ohm now we got the value of rth next we have to find the value of here we can see we have to find the value of vth that is thevenin's voltage Next to find VTH. Now to find VTH, again we will copy this circuit first. To find VTH, again we will remove. To find VTH, remove RL. So first we will remove this RL and again this will be terminal A and this will be terminal B and next step will be and VOC is equal to VTH. So this will be our open circuit voltage VOC. We will find the value of this VOC. Now to find the value of this VOC that's, that is this voltage. So here we can apply let's say 
we can find it by using mesh analysis let's say so let's say this is mesh number one with current i1 and this is mesh number two this will be mesh number two with current i2 this is b now we will apply kvl to mesh number one so apply here we can see between mesh number one and mesh number two there is a current source so this forms a super mesh so this hole will be a super mesh so first of all we will apply kvl to super mesh so apply kvl that is kirchhoff's voltage law to super mesh let's say we will start from this point now according to the direction of this current this will be positive this will be negative this will be positive this will be negative so we will start from here so it will be minus 10 then plus 1 kilo ohm so 1 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by current value is i1 then next is plus 1 kilo ohm again 1 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by i2 is equal to 0 so this will be 1 or directly we can write 10 to the power 3 into i1 plus 10 to the power 3 into i2 is equal to 10 let's say this is equation number 1 now next we will here here we can see from super mesh again we can say from super mesh i1 minus i2 is equal to 1 milliampere i1 minus i2 is equal to 1 milliampere that is 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 let's say this is equation number 2 now we will solve equation number 1 and 2 so solving equation 1 and 2 so if we solve equation 1 and 2 we get the value of i1 and i2 so in calculator there are two unknowns so phi u and 1 now this will be 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 so 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 again is equal to 10 and for equation number 2 this will be 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 and here this will be 10 to the power minus 3 so therefore i1 is equal to I1 is equal to 5.5 milliampere and I2 is equal to 4.5 milliampere. 4.5 milliampere. Now we have the value of I1 and I2. So we can find the value of this VOC. Again, we will copy this circuit here and let's say this is loop number three this is loop number three with current i3 now apply kvl apply kvl to mesh number three now here according to the direction of this current i3 this will be positive this will be negative and let's say we will start from this point so it will be minus 10 then plus then this will be 2 kilo ohm so 2 into 10 to the power 3 in bracket i2 minus i1 so i2 minus i1 then plus voc plus voc is equal to 0 now we have the value of i2 and i1 so here we will substitute it before that we will take it on right side 
so VOC is equal to this will be 10 this will be minus 2 into 10 to the power 3 in bracket I2 4.5 milliampere so 4.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 minus 5.5 milliampere so 5.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 now if we solve this we get VOC is equal to 10 minus 2 into 10 to the power 3 4.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 5.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 it is equal to 12 so it is equal to 12 volt this is the value of VOC and VOC is equal to VTH so therefore VTH is equal to 12 volt now we have the value of VTH VTH and we have the value of VO, VOC and VTH now we can draw Thevenin equivalent circuit from Thevenin's resistance and Thevenin's voltage so its equivalent Thevenin's circuit will be this will be RTH this will be VTH VTH is equal to 12 volt and RTH is equal to 2 kilo ohm 2 kilo ohm and this is our RL the value of RL is this is our RL the value of RL is here we can see it is 4 kilo ohm so 4 kilo ohm this will be current IL first we will find the value of IL here we can write it is Thevenin's Thevenin's equivalent Thevenin's equivalent circuit so if we apply current division rule here no need to apply current division rule here uh, here we can directly find the value of IL so IL is equal to VTH upon RTH plus RL VTH is 12 divided by RTH is 2 kilo ohm so 2 into 10 to the power 3 plus RL is 4 into 10 to the power 3 so 12 divided by 2 into 10 to the power 3 plus 4 into 10 to the power 3 so it will be 2 into 10 to the power 3 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere this is the value of current IL now we can find the value of this VO VO is equal to current into resistance so IL into RL IL is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by RL the value of RL is 4 into 10 to the power 3 so this will be 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 4 into 10 to the power 3 so it is 8 volt so therefore VO is equal to 8 volt this is our final answer